This is the story of a woman who lost everything even her name. The history of colonialism was so unfair to her that she was stripped of her identity and her bodily integrity. Zargia, Sarah, Bartman was one of the first black women known to be subjugated to human punishments. She was derisively named the Hottentot Venus by Europeans as her body would be publicly examined and exposed inhumanly throughout the duration of her young life. Sarah Bartman was born to a Gonaqua subgroup of the Khoi Khoi in 1789 at the Gamtuz River which is found in South Africa's Eastern Cape, Bartman and her family were members of the Gonaqua subgroup of the Khoi Khoi. Bartman grew up on a colonial farm where she and her family worked as servants. Her mother died when she was age two and her father, who was a cattle driver, died when she was still a young girl. By her teenage years with still a lot to learn about life Bartman married a Khoi Khoi man who was a drummer. They had a child together who passed on shortly after birth. When Bartman was 16, her husband was taken away from the face of earth by Dutch colonists. Soon after, she was sold into slavery to a trader named Peter Willem Caesar, who took her to Cape Town where she became a domestic slave to his brother, Hendrik. On October 29, 1810, Although she could not read, 21-year-old Bartman supposedly signed a contract with William Dunlop, a physician, who was a friend of the Caesar brothers, she didn't fully understand what the contract actually meant. This contract required her to travel with the Caesar brothers and Dunlop to England and Ireland where she would work as a domestic servant since technically speaking slavery had been abolished in Great Britain, she would be exhibited for entertainment purposes. Bartman was first exhibited in London in the Egyptian Hall at Piccadilly Circus on November 24, 1810. Her public treatment, however, quickly drew the attention of British abolitionists who charged Dunlop and the Caesars with holding Bartman against her will. The court ruled against Bartman after Peter Caesar produced the contract that had been signed by Bartman. Bartman also testified that she was not being mistreated. The publicity generated by the court trial increased Bartman's popularity as an exhibit. She was taken on countless tours throughout England and by 1812 as far away as Limerick, Ireland. She was sold four years later to Paris where she was under the control of a wild animal exhibitor in a traveling circus. That she was now a part of his show Animals leaves a bad taste in the mouth. It is in Paris that Napoleon's surgeon, George Cuvier saw her and developed a scientific interest. His main idea of science was proving the superiority of the white people. In fact, he described Sarah's movements as having something brusque and capricious about them that recalled those of a monkey. Men like Cuvier propounded the idea of a homo sapiens monstrous, more ape than human, devoid of the intelligence and emotional capabilities the whites were endowed with. Sarah slowly started giving up on life as she didn't understand what was happening around her, she later passed on of what is presumed to be pneumonia, syphilis and alcoholism, George Cuvier made a plaster cast of her body before dissecting it. Her preserved her brain and her genitals were placed in jars and displayed at the Museum of Man in Paris. They were only removed in 1974 and she got a proper burial 187 years after her demise. Bartman probably suffered the worst forms of subjugation and dehumanization at the hands of Europeans. This culture of using looks to perpetuate black women oppression should come to an end. Bartman's story should not be reenacted in modern society two centuries after her unfortunate death. In 1994 South African President Nelson Mandela formally requested that Bartman's remains be returned to South Africa. On March 6, 2002, her remains were returned and buried at Hankey in the Eastern Cape Province.